This is a Swift Select 184. It's actually a 6.4 meter vehicle, well, fractionally under it, in fact, which means it's nice and compact, but yet it will still sleep for, still travel with for. So it's nice to see what they've done with this one. It's a nice looking van as well. I like the color. I like the go faster stripes. It just makes it all a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Nice alloy wheels on it as well. It's a smart bit of kit. I like all the Swift logos as well. They've taken off the Fiat logo, for example, on the front, put a Swift one there instead. 2.3 litre diesel in this one, incidentally. Let's have a wander around. I'll show you the outside and then we'll head on in and I'll show you what it's all about. That one there is a water filler. That one there is actually for a shower. So you can put a shower on the outside. That's a very useful feature. Cassette for the toilet. And that one is... I can't open it. <laughs> we'll never know. We will, because it says 240 volt on it. So that's obviously where the power goes in. It will open. I just don't want to force it. Uh, so yeah, select 184. There we go. Pretty smart, isn't it? Put the stripes down the back as well. Uh, rear doors on this one, of course. So you have got access in and out here, like so. And you'll see why well, that's particularly useful when we go inside, because the layout really lends itself to using those. Let's carry on around this side. That one there, I don't know. I think that looks like it's for a shower as well, doesn't it? Interestingly. And then that's for the LPG tanks there. Let's head on in and I'll stop showing my ignorance. We've got a step that we can power out. We've also got an awning on this one as well, actually. Let's put that right back like so. So we've got the light over the door and then the awning runs down the full length, which is rather nice. Fantastic. Okay, let's head on in. I like the lighting in here. Look, they put little pin lights all the way around here. That looks really funky. If we head on in, we've got the swiveling seats. So these will come right round, make it into quite a nice lounge or dining area up here at the front. And you can see on these, they've got the seat belts. That is what makes that into a four person vehicle for traveling. And if we look on this side, this is interesting. This has actually got the infill cushions all tucked away, all ready to deploy and you can basically lift those out. There we go, there's sliding sections. There's one that comes out of here that slides across. There's one that slides out from here. And then that then infills to make that into a sleeping area. The seats we've mentioned, it's the manual gearbox on this one, six speed, and then the usual Fiat dashboard. All of these have got blinds on them. Oh, there we go. Might come up like that. That's quite clever, isn't it? Look at that. I've not seen them like that before. The ones I've seen before slide out from here, but that's really good. We've got a similar deal on the front. You can see how there's tracks at the side, so you can close that off as well. Now, if we come on back, then there's another window up here. And again, all of these all got blinds on them. So you can close those off at night, which is what you'd want to do, of course. We've got little reading lights on this one as well. We've got some quite funky lighting along in places like this and another skylight is an opening one here to get more ventilation and light into the vehicle. Again, blinds that come across at night. In fact, there's also bug screens that come across like this. So that's rather cool. The other thing we've got up here then, if we spin on round, is control panel for the vehicle. So here we're accessing things like the leisure battery, the vehicle battery, the lights, the water system, all of that all controlled from there. Heating control here as well. So this is giving us um, both hot water and uh, warm air heating, and that powers from the 240 volt power or from the gas, depending whether you're plugged in or not. We've got carbon monoxide uh, monitor here as well, and a smoke alarm up on the ceiling. If we come all the way around then on this side, there's storage up in here, like so. These windows all open again with the blinds that come up. And then if we come on back, this is quite neat because as well as storing these bits of extra um, upholstery or infill cushions rather for the bed, it also gives you a really extended work surface for the kitchen, which is very helpful. Let's head on back. Storage, storage, storage as you'd expect. So plates and cups and all that kind of thing here, crockery. We've got the sink underneath here under this glass lid. Three burner hob and the oven then down underneath and then again just a ton of storage so 
places like this, for example. Cut, redraw. And more storage here. So for a compact vehicle, they've packed a lot in. But then if we come right on back, look at this. Another really nice lounge area. There's a socket there, so you can drop a table into there if you want to. I'll show you where that lives in a moment. And this again will convert into um, sleeping. So you can see how these pull out, like so. These come out, the backrests drop in, and that gives you a bed there. But what's really nice about this is, of course, if you're sat somewhere nice, perhaps you're down by a riverbank or something like that, you can sit here, but you can have those doors open, and then the view and the air right out across the back. That's a really nice feature. We've got a skylight up above, so plenty of light into here. Speakers are up there as well, actually, in the ceiling. And then again, storage, storage, storage everywhere. Like so. Little reading lights, one there, another one tucked away over there. More storage here. I'm not going to open it all. <laughs> You've probably got the idea by now. That pad there is so that if you want to, you can put a TV on there. And in fact, what they've done then is put an aerial socket and a power socket right next to it so you can just plug it directly in rather than trailing wires everywhere. Fridge is on this side. You think I'd have to open a fridge? There we go, a little button at the top. So fridge freezer is in there. And then down here is the table. So that's the table that goes out here. Of course, if you're dining, you're probably going to use that area up there, which is bigger. That's just a nice little coffee table or cocktail table or whatever you want, depending on whether you're driving that day or, or whether the sun is over the yard arm. There we go. It's rather smart, isn't it? Let's go a bit further because there's one more thing to show you. Last but definitely not least is this, which is the toilet. Now, what they've done with this door, because of course you can see it's not wide enough to open, so they split it so that you can do that with it and open it right out, which is rather sensible. Otherwise, if it's like that, of course, it's not going to work. Um, so if we do that, I can show you then. We've got the loo in here, we've got the sink in here, but there's also a shower in here because that will pull out like so. Clip into there and then you've got a nice little shower compartment. And there's a shower curtain there as well. Fantastic. I think we've covered it, haven't we? Let's close that properly. There we go. I like the upholstery in here, though. It's got quite a youthful feel to this. That's styling on the outside, the, um, the grey finish, those stripes, this seating like this. It's a nice, modern-feeling vehicle. Be a good, fun wagon for the family, this one. Let's go back and sit down here just for a change. We'll end up at the front. But today, I'm going to end up back here. I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to say massive thanks to Dolphin Motorhomes. They've got this for sale. They've organised this tour. And I'll put a link to those guys in the description. And massive thanks as ever to you all for watching. Let me know what you think of that. But I think that's quite a cool machine. And we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.